Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Jalissa. Today's video is so exciting, and I know I always say that, but today's video is a good one. <laughs> In today's video, I'm going to be comparing these two blow dryers. Wow, this, oh my god, this one's way bigger than this one. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, so I'm going to be comparing the Revlon One Step Hair Dry and Volumizer to the Dyson Airwrap, but this is the round brush attachment. The Dyson Airwrap complete. I just filmed a video trying out all the attachments. I will link it down below if you guys want to watch that. But today I'm just going to do like a simple blowout, you know. But this brings a lot of stuff. I mean, it brings all these attachments. It's insane. Um, but it's very pricey. <laughs> so the Revlon retails for $55, maybe $60 the most. It really depends where you buy it. But guys, this is on sale right now on Amazon for $40! Like, that is such a good price for a hair tool like this. So if you guys end up liking this, I will link it down below so you guys can purchase it if you want. But I'm going to compare it to the Dyson Airwrap. So I finally got my hands on this. This is very expensive. This is $550 for the Airwrap Complete, which brings all the attachments that I just showed you guys. This is very pricey, but the technology is supposed to help with heat damage. So it's supposed to be better for your hair in the long run. But yeah, let's get started. This side is going to be the Revlon One Step Hair Dry and Volumizer. And then this side is going to be the Dyson Airwrap. So if you guys didn't know, this side of my hair is a little bit less curly than this side super weird i know it's not a big difference but it definitely is a little bit less curly than this side so since this is so expensive i'm gonna give the harder side to the dyson air wrap it really is almost the same thing but you know i think that's fair because this one is a lot more expensive than this one so i'm gonna this should work on my very curly hair right so we're gonna do this side with the Dyson. Anyways, let's get started. I'm gonna time this. And oh, by the way, you have to stay tuned because at the end of the video, I will be doing an insane giveaway. Make sure that you enter the giveaway. Make sure that you show a lot of love. Make sure that you subscribe, that you like. I'm gonna tell you guys at the end of the video what I will be giving away and also how you can enter the giveaway. Okay, so let's start with the Revlon side. So I'm gonna start my timer right now and let's see how long it takes me to do this side of my hair. Very loud. Okay, so I paused the timer. It only took me about 2 minutes and 30 seconds to do this section of hair. But wow, I mean, look at how sleek my hair looks. It looks pretty sleek. It's very, very soft. And I think it looks pretty shiny. So I'm going to continue with the Revlon side and I'll be right back with the final Revlon side look. So let's continue with the timer and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so here's what the Revlon side looks like. I mean, come on. Like, this is insane. Like, look at that shine. <laughs> Are you guys surprised that I said that? Look at that shine. I mean, it's amazing. It's really, really nice. This is a really nice tool for the price, too. Like, now it's $40. Like, couldn't get any better than that. Like, it's amazing. It's a really 
really really nice tool i kind of have like a love and hate relationship with this tool because i love it i love it so much that sometimes i just want to use it all the time sometimes i just want to use it like every week and then i noticed that over time if i overdo it if i use it too much just like any other hair tool it will damage your hair a little bit it's gonna pull your hair and your hair is not gonna look as healthy so just keep that in mind maybe use this i mean i prefer to use this just like once or twice a month i have been curling my hair a lot more lately so once or twice a month is like completely fine with me um and my blowouts last like a whole week so you know <laughs> so yeah i really really love this i mean look at that it looks amazing the ends look healthy i mean i just got a haircut too though so you know and it only took me 13 minutes to do all this this whole side only took me 13 minutes that means that it takes me less than 30 minutes to do my hair which is really good for me <laughs> really really good for me so now let's move on to the dyson side so right now i'm gonna do kind of like a back-to-back sound comparison <laughs> between the Revlon One Step Hair Dry and Volumizer. I'm just going to say the Revlon because that's just a long name. Revlon One Step Hair Dry and Volumizer. <gasps> and the Dyson Air Wrap. So the Revlon on high sounds like this. So it's pretty loud, but then the Dyson on high sounds like this. I think they're both pretty loud i mean i do feel like this one is a little bit louder it's just the sound is different okay guys let's start the timer for the dyson side Okay, so I did take a smaller section of hair because this brush is a lot smaller. So I can't really take big sections. If not, it's kind of not gonna leave it super smooth. So uh, this section of hair took me three minutes to blow out. Oh, three minutes. And it feels very soft. It looks very shiny, very smooth, as you can see. The ends have a little bit of a wave, so I love that. It's already giving my hair some volume. This gets so hot. It gets hotter than the Revlon, in my opinion. I do feel like this is just like, bam, like super hot. So let's continue with this side. So let's continue with the timer, and I'll be back with the final Dyson Air Wrap look. I am back finally oh my god I had to put some powder on my face because I was sweating this got so hot and it took me so long to blow out this side this is what my hair looks like on the Dyson side I mean it looks shiny it looks healthy you know it has some bounce it's not bad this is the Revlon side it's definitely more sleek so if you want a sleeker look then go with the revlon the dyson gives you more volume you can totally you know work oh god this pulled my hair so bad though 
with a smaller brush you can kind of like do a little bit of a wave at the end if that's something that you like go for it i will say though this smaller brush takes forever like this takes so long to blow my hair i probably could have gotten this a little bit smoother but guys i just couldn't anymore it was just taking me way too long it took me 29 minutes to do this side 29 minutes it's double the time like it took me double the time to blow out my hair with the dyson as compared to the revlon i tried my best to get it somewhat sleek guys i'm just not gonna waste my time like i really tried i like 30 minutes for this just one side i think it's like a little bit too much <laughs> this brush is just way too small for me i mean i have a lot of hair i have thick curly hair long hair this would be great for a short straight hair maybe wavy hair curly hair i don't know it still looks a little bit wavy a little bit frizzy a little bit poofy i'm not the biggest fan of this i will be honest with you i would maybe use this with the other attachments like the curling attachments but not for a blowout definitely not i mean you can still see it's a little bit poofy it's just not in my opinion worth 550 dollars if you're gonna use it for the blowout attachment for the round brush attachment like if you're gonna use it to blow your hair i don't think it's worth all that money it really is not you can get this for 40 dollars and you get more sleek and results and way quicker and half the time literally so this is not sponsored by revlon this is not sponsored by dyson i bought this with my money both of these i bought with my money as you can see wow the difference in size is just insane this has to be like double at least double the size i would say maybe even triple the size because this is just way too small if this had a bigger brush like this then yeah that would be amazing i would really love that but this is just way too small for me it took me way too long i know i'm gonna have to finish this side anyways because i don't really like how it looks it just looks a little bit poofy i was gonna finish up this side off camera anyways with my revlon but i mean might as well just show you guys how quickly i can fix this side with the revlon brush so let's time this and let's see how quickly i can kind of fix up this side so this is what the before looks like and Okay, so as you can see it looks a little bit more smooth i mean obviously i still have to work on it it is just harder to fix your hair once it's dry in my opinion in under five minutes i was kind of able to fix it a little bit but i still wish that i just could have done it with the revlon initially like from wet hair because it is easier for curly hair people to blow out their hair when the hair is wet from wet hair you know like when it's dry it's not the same it's not the same but already i kind of see that it looks more sleek and less frizzy i think you guys already know which one i prefer and if i wasn't clear enough then i prefer the revlon this is just such a good deal and like revlon just really nailed it with this product it's just amazing and it's perfect for curly hair i love it i would 100 percent go for this one you guys let me know in the comments down below which one you prefer and let's have a conversation in the comment section give me your honest opinion about these tools and yeah just comment down below show some love oh actually let's get into the giveaway so i will be giving away since these are like so affordable right now i'm gonna buy three of these to give away to you guys so to enter the giveaway all you have to do is number one subscribe to my youtube channel if you have not subscribed subscribe what are you waiting for i upload a lot of hair tool videos a lot of hair videos in general so if you're liking my channel so far go ahead and subscribe <laughs> also make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up and follow me on instagram so this is my instagram right here and i will be reaching out to you guys on instagram the three winners 
in the following week so in the next couple of days but i will be announcing the giveaway winners in my following video which will maybe be in like a week so stay tuned so yeah make sure you enter the giveaway i love you guys if you liked this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and turn on your post notifications so you can get notified every time i upload a video if you liked this video then i'm sure you're gonna like these videos as well i have a lot of revlon videos so go check them out i have a lot of hair tool videos go check out all my videos show some love and i love you guys <laughs>